All right, folks, uh, welcome back to more Paper Mario Pro Mode. So, for the astute watchers, uh, in case you couldn't tell by my uh, suddenly having hundreds of coins, I actually did some grinding off-screen in preparation for this uh, stream. So, main thing I did, first I equipped the All or Nothing badge, which All or Nothing plus two Power Pluses plus Quake Hammer equals insanely powerful attack that can just insta-kill everything in World 2. So, I went back to Dry Dry Desert with this setup, along with money, money, and payoff, and just got a whole bunch of money. I also grinded up on some ingredients that I want to cook with, mainly dried fruit, which are random drops. I also did get one star piece off-screen. It was the star piece in the hidden panel in Dry Dry Desert that's next to the stone cactus. That was one that I probably wouldn't have gone back to anyway, so... That's why I did not do any Chuck Quizmo quizzes, because those have been changed, and those are actually fun for me to do on camera, so... Now that that's out of the way, that hopefully will trivialize a lot of the side quest stuff I was planning on doing, and hopefully we can get started on Chapter 5 early today. How's it going, Mike Breezy? I'm doing great tonight. How are you tonight? So first off, if we go to Rolf's shop... Okay, there is still one badge. We're buying that FP+. plus. Because what else are we going to spend our fortune on? Alright. So first thing we're going to do, we've got a full inventory with ingredients that we're going to cook. Alright, strange leaf, plus a dried fruit. This is one of the weirder recipes to make. The dried fruit is a weird item, because it only is dropped randomly by pokies very occasionally. Otherwise, you can't get it. Okay, experiments turn out great. We get a fire flower, which is weird. But I'll take it. We'll use that fire flower we just made. Mix it with an egg. You played this ROM hack in 2020 before the New Mutants released. Interesting. Hey, Sonic! How's it going? <laughs> Love the Sonic emotes. So when, when we give her an egg and a fire flower, she literally makes a bomb with it. Which, I don't know how I feel about that, but eh. Strange Leaf plus our other egg. I'm doing great tonight, Sonic. It was beautiful weather where I am in Michigan. It was like 80 degree weather, so I had a great walk today. It's been a while. So I There was a while I tried to get out and walk every single day, and it went alright for a while, but then winter came and I just couldn't, I couldn't work up basically the courage to get out and walk and brave the winter cold. And then, even as the weather started to get nicer, I've just been complacent and being like, I'm just going to sit around and play video games, which is not a good thing to do, so... It was nice to actually get out and exercise a bit. I have a great walking route, too. Yes, I had a, fu I had a very hard time fighting uh, General Guy. He's the boss that's given me the most trouble thus far. But uh, all it took was the Feel and Fine badge and a proper strategy, and he went down without too much trouble. I'm going to buy some cake mix, because I have a life stream that I want to mix that with. And make a delicious cake. Mmm. Ooh, you've added some new games to the retro list, including Super Mario World. Oh, Super Mario World is, my personal opinion, the best 2D Mario game. Thank you, Sonic, for the host! I appreciate it. Enjoy the dancing penguin. Alright... At this point, now I think I'm going to hunt down uh, Chuck Quizmo and try to do some quizzes from him. Because I want to get more star pieces. If I get if I get 25 star pieces, I can get, like, the Super Flower Saver badge, which... Yes, please. I, I bet I bet Quizmo's in Koopa Village. I, I kept seeing him hanging around while I was gathering ingredients off camera, and I really wanted to do some of the quizzes, but no. Here he is. Kawiz, it's Chuck Quizmo! Question, what do I have for lunch? Okay, because he's a worm, I'm gonna guess a Koopa Leaf. Alright, correct! Here's our star piece! I was rolling with the dried fruit last time, but I mean, worms eat fruit as well. Alright, 26 questions, let's try the next one. Question of the following, who is not a member of the Koopa Bros? Uh, there is no blue Koopa Bro, which is a shame. Correct! Here's your star piece! You've answered 27 questions. Let's try the next one. Question. Which of these objects can be found in the storeroom of Harry's shop? Oh, 
Um, which can be found. Uh, a wheel, I think. Yeah! I knew it wasn't the broom, but I couldn't remember if there were barrels back there. You also added Chrono Trigger, Pokemon Yellow, and Mario 64 to the retro gaming list. I am down for joining Mario 64. I have not played the either, either of the other two, but Mario 64 is probably my favorite Mario game. Question! Which item can Tasty combine with a Koopa Leaf? Uh, dried pasta. I mean, technically you combine it with any of those, but you'd make a mistake. You've answered 29 questions so far, but we're not done yet. Yes, these are easy questions I can know. I know. Question, what is your prize for getting free stars on the slot machine in Chai Guy's Toy Box? What? I actually don't remember. I think it's a shooting star, though. That would make sense. Nope. Is it really 10 mushrooms? <laughs> I don't, I've never gotten it before, because I don't like gambling, but... Oh, yeah, we also have Koopa Koot. This old codger. Oh, what a perfect time to man. I guess you're going to judge not so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but I must tell you, there's quite a racket coming from next door. It's far too loud. Say, you and Cooper are friends, no? Well, it's his house, and he should keep his guests from raising a ruckus. I can't sleep with all the noise. Can you go over there and complain for me? Just tell him to put a lid on it. Go as soon as you can. I'm at the end of my rope. Tell me when they quiet down. I have your word? Man, Koopa Koot is literally me. And I'm only, like, 24. <laughs> Oh, Puppet! Shut up, shut up, shut up! The neighbors are starting to complain about your noise! Quit your belly aching! Oh, Puppet! Please don't say that, please! Don't you care how foul I feel? Oh, shut up! Enough already! Stop brooding over her! Did somebody say... Puppet? You finished Paper Mario promo after you got vaccinated. Nice! Yeah, I'm really enjoying this hack. It's great thus far. Like, all of the... There have been a couple of changes where I'm like, I don't know about that, but most of the changes have been, like, really great. Oh, Bobette! Shut up, shut up, shut up! The neighbors are starting to complain! But Bobette! You be quiet now! It's no use yelling my name. I'm off on an adventure doing very important things. I have enough to think about without your puppy love. And besides, you're not my type. I told you that before, so calm down before you blow a fuse. Bombad! Oh, don't! Ooh, you made her angry. I feel bad for you, but man, you talk way too much. You need to play it cool, or she'll never like you at all. I'm sure she'll come around one of these days if you can just... <laughs> Thanks, Bombat. Yeah, let's get away from Bruce. <laughs> Gallivant and Groove, guys! You're the man, Mario! Amazing! Stunning! Finally, some peace and quiet. <sighs> Do those punks make a fuss? Now I can finally go back to sweet dreamland. <laughs> You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Cooper so many favors. This time I'll give you a special gift. Free star pieces. Thanks, buddy. Oh, what perfect timing, young man. Guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. I, I've heard people talk recently. Apparently I'm not so popular. People are actually saying I'm cheap. The nerve. A long time ago, I used to be like you. And I, just, oh, I guess, and then I always go to the supermarket on Sundays because the crowd's rollers. But can you believe this? So I said, I can't believe you never had a strawberry before. You know, it's completely unfair. And it was so very rude because despite my warnings, he still refused to try it. And finally, hey, are you listening to me? Well, the upshot is I don't really need any help, except, you know all those boos living in Boo Mansion? Well, one of them has an old photo of mine. So, well, I'd like you to ask them if they'd give it back. And if you don't mind, could you hurry up about it? You promise you'll go? All right, fine. <laughs> it's old Koopa Koot. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I just... <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do that when I go back to Koopa Koot. I just remembered, I, I've never... I still need to take out the Hammer Bro in World 1 and figure out what's in that question mark block he's guarding. It's pro I'm guessing it's a hustle drink. Tomorrow afternoon will probably be more Link to the Past. You got the second pendant yesterday. Nice. Uh, I know tomorrow Fly and I were actually going to plan on streaming Kingdom Hearts together, but... Yeah, that's all, that sounds awesome. I'll def I will definitely am liking your Link to the Past series. Alright, who's who's the boo that has it? Lady Bo is the very definition of grace, beauty, and dignity. No other boo could fill her shoes as master of the mansion. If she wore shoes, that is. Will I behold the lady, my heart goes a pit pat. Hey, what can I boo for you? An errand for Koopa Koot, huh? Too bad for you. Koopa Koot's been known to use people, you know. 
His motto is, if it moves, use it until it drops. I don't think that's his motto. He got in a couple of fights over his personality way back when. After one really bad one, he started traveling a lot. This is a photo of us from when he passed through these parts. Take this and say hello to Koopa Koop for me. Oh, that was the right one. The Koopa. The photo of Koopa Koop back when he was young. I actually like Koopa Koop. Like, kind of ironically, but... <laughs> I think the Trouble Center from Fouse in Your Door works better, but... <laughs> Koopa Koot's a funny character. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's doing me favors! <laughs> then again, I also just like doing the old man voice. Here's the photo of yourself. Great clump of clubbers! I'm in awe of you, Mario! Oh, the days of my youth! Just look at me there, so young and vibrant! I was quite the ladies Koopa there was! There was, oh man, this utterly gorgeous, lovely Koopa named Koopy Koo! Oh wait, no, that's in the next game! She was mad in, and I ran as fast as I could, but I never looked back! Anyhow, enough of that! Take this as a token of my thanks! You don't have to be polite, take it! What perfect timing! Oh, I guess you are just not so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but I really haven't had a tasty meal in the Goomba's age. Miss Tasty's Koo Pasta would really hit the spot right now. Could you head to Toe Town and have her whip her up a batch? Uh, did you hear my belly grumble? I definitely, definitely did. I'm ravenous. Please hurry up. Please don't let me starve. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this is why I made the Koo Pasta, like, last chapter, and then put it in the, put it in the store. Alright, let's take it out of our shop. It's the old reliable Koopa shop. I've come for my spaghetti. I did save it, right? Oh, there it is. It's at the very bottom. Alright. <laughs> Koopa Koot is the angry grandpa. Yeah, that's true, but that's, that adds to the charm. Ooh, I forgot that there's a, a hidden uh, fane in here. I actually can't remember where it is, but I think it's up here. Booyah. Alright, we're gonna get out Goombario. Ouch! <laughs> but with Defend Plus... Oh yeah. So Quake Hammer plus two Power Pluses plus all or nothing. <laughs> Instant death to everybody. I forgot there were hidden panels back in the first world as well. I think... Did we go too far, or... Oh, wait. We may have gone too far. Never mind. Hammer Bros back farther. So, I'm glad I came this way for the star piece. Do, 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 do. I'm kind of curious how many star pieces we have, but I don't want to pause the screen unless it's important, because it takes, like, ten seconds. <laughs> well, darn it. <sighs> Alright, well, we can just deal with them the old-fashioned way. Seven damage with not even the ultra hammer, the super hammer. <sighs> there we go. Yes, here he is. Okay, it's just one hammer, bro. Oh, then this will actually be easy now. Hammer bros. These are the Hammer Bros. You've seen these punks before, haven't you? Be careful of that hammer. If it hits you, you'll get shrunk in a wink. When the Hammer Bros get desperate, they'll f hurl a ton of hammers, so watch it. These guys have been a pain for ages, so let's give them an old-fashioned whooping. As always, they're not to be underestimated. Oh my gosh, he has a lot of HP. I think once his HP goes down to half, then he starts chucking the hammers like mad. Oh no! You shrunk us?! Oh, that's bad. Thank goodness. I was wondering if that was actually going to be enough to kill me. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't. Wow, even after a World 4, I only just barely beat the Hammer Bro. He gave me no star points, but he's an end- he's a final chapter enemy! <laughs> What the heck? 
All right, what's in here? A POW BLOCK! THAT'S IT?! <laughs> what a chip! <laughs> Rip-off artist. Okay, let's just star-storm him out of here. I'm not in the mood to run away. Plus, I don't want to lose any of my valuable money. That's one change. The Star Storm change is one that I'm not happy with, where it only deals four damage instead of seven. You could argue that seven was too much, but four is not enough. For 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 two whole star meters, that's not enough. Oh shoot, I Guess I'm taking the warp pipe back to Koopa Village, because I forgot to give old man his pasta. Toads, let me sleep in your bed again. Gotta get full on HP. Ah, time for some nice shut eye. Ooh, another thing we need to do is we need to go back to Mario's house. Because Luigi's written more in his secret diary. Oh, I'll, another thing I forgot to do. I never did give Rusty back his dictionary. Because I just sequence broke that area. Curses, Mario! A shy guy stole my dictionary! Please get it back from him! I'm, I'm losing IQ points! Here's my mystery note. You'd like me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha! It seems to be written in the language of the Shy Guys. Well, this would be an easy task if I still had my dictionary, but some Shy Guys stole it. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of the note for now. And here's your dictionary, buddy. My dictionary! Oh, wonderful words! Many thanks, Mario. Star piece. Hit yellow, green, red, then blue. That's what the Shy Guys note says. Yeah, I already knew that, because that doesn't change from playthrough to playthrough. <laughs> hey, you, you are reading my mail! <laughs> it's Goombaria. To Mario! Are you and Goombario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Goombaria, by the way. Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Goombario being a hero, or is he just goofing off? You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toad Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there. I'd really like to hear some of your exciting stories. I can't wait, really. You can beat up Bowser. I know it! Goombaria. Oh, that's nice of her. Hi there, Mario! <laughs> Are you eating regularly? You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Everyone says that, but I don't think there's any data actually backing that up. The cookbook you gave me really comes in handy. I already know a lot of recipes, but with this book I can cook a world of new dishes. I want to tell you about the latest dish I've been cooking. It's unique! <laughs> it takes a fire flower and an egg to fix it. When I first made it, it blew me away. Literally, because it's a bomb. It might help you on your adventures. Please come visit and bring the ingredients. Taste tea. Hey, big guy! How you doing? Rolf of the Bad Shop here. Thanks a bunch for shopping at my place. You're a cool customer. To show my gratitude, I'll be waiting for you with all my stock 0% off. Rolf. What a guy. He doesn't need to discount. His badges are very reasonably priced. Page 3 of Luigi's Diary. A shy guy appeared at my house the other day. I found it asleep in my bed. Can you believe it? I ran after him, but he was way too fast for me. I heard that a lot of shy guys also appeared in Toad Town. Supposedly, they came from Shy Guy's toy box. It must be hiding somewhere in town. A toy box? I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64! <laughs> I, I love... <laughs> I love how uh, occasionally Nintendo games just give blatant Nintendo product placement. It's hilarious. <laughs> the whole Goomba family visited me today. They said that the Goombario is in the care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. It was a Goomnut, a special treat from Goomba Village. It looked so yummy I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by free. You think he'll notice? <laughs> Luigi, uh, something's different about you, Luigi. It looks like you have more flower points. Shoot! Uh, hi, Mario. Are you doing okay? Don't worry, bro. I'll watch the house until you get back. Uh, I have a literal baby in my party now. <laughs> Wait to rub it in, bro. Next Paper Mario game better have Wario and Waluigi in it. Just want to say... And it better be, like, a real Paper Mario game. None of, none of this Sticker Star, Cover Splash, or Origami King nonsense. Or even the Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario was funny, and it was, like, fun, but it wasn't Paper Mario. I don't care what anyone says. 
Oh, yeah! We also need to do the, uh, yeah. Boo Man's Challenge. For World 4. Alright, for this one, we do need to set our badges, I think. I definitely want Quake Hammer. Actually, if I wait till I get a badge from the next world, it'll make it a whole lot easier. I don't really want to take off any of these badges, to be honest. Alright, I'll just save and we'll, we'll attempt the, uh, the boo challenge. I'm guessing it'll just be a bunch of Shy Guys. I was wondering if I'm like, should I equip uh, Ice Power? But nah. I don't think we need Ice Power. With the Pyro Guys, I think Quake Hammer plus Power Shell will take out almost everybody. Are you ready for a trial? Which trial will you take? Let's do Chapter 4. Okay, nine, nine rounds, 15 coins. Chump change. Oh yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can't remember if All or Nothing also affects your party members' ability to deal damage. I mean, it, they don't get the extra attack from it, but I can't remember if they... Well, one way to find out. Okay, I can I can fail the action commands for the party members. It's just Mario who I have to time the action commands for. All right. Well, that, that was easy. All right, time for round two. I'm worried that they're going to make me fight anti-guy in here. Barf. Okay. Actually, I can kill Shy Guys in one hit. <laughs> With the hammer, I can kill Shy Guys in one hit. That's amazing. Alright, now he'll switch to the, shot, the swing shot. Excellent. Spy guys are basically the only enemy that I'm kind of worried about facing, along with... <laughs> I, I have a feeling they're going to make me fight anti-guy at the end, which would absolutely suck if they did. Because I only just barely managed to beat him... regularly. And that was when I intentionally went into peril <laughs> with the Mega Rush badge. I, I can't... I don't think I can do that this time. Alright, round two is down. They're totally going to make me do that, though. Like, that is 100% what uh, something that they're going to make me do. Oh, gro Groove guys are also going to be annoying because of their status effects. Yeah. Man, 30 BP is not as much as you might think. I like how a thousand your door up the BP cap to, I think, 99. <laughs> Six rounds left. Nice. Nope! No, I... Why does it always... Uh, I did not want to attack his balloons. That's fine. No harm done. I just have to survive another slingshot attack. Oh my gosh, five damage per jump. Don't even have the Ultra Boots yet. Ooh! Are we gonna level up? One more level up and we cap BP. This is definitely a job for Quake Hammer plus PowerShell. <laughs> oh man. Pro Mode has made me appreciate Cooper a whole lot more. All right, round six. Thus far, these rounds are really easy. All right, let's take out the pyro guy. Yeah, we don't need ice power for this. <laughs> I'm also digging quick change. I can't... Of, of all the badges, I can't believe quick change actually, like, decreased in, in uh, BP needed. That's, that's crazy to me. All right, this... <laughs> this time, we're not going to embarrass ourselves and accidentally attack the balloons. Ow. 
Ouch. Why did, why did I fail this action command twice in a row? That's not even a difficult action command. <laughs> oh, well. One more fight, and we have leveled up. Alright, round seven. Only three more rounds left. This looks like a job for Pajama Sam! And, of course, Power Shell. <laughs> yeah, the Power Plus badges are a little broken. And there we go! Level up! And we're getting that final BP. That was fun. Let's see you handle round eight. <sighs> if the final round is totally going to be anti-guy. Because he was a common enemy wandering around uh, one part of the toy box. That's just going to be evil. If that's the case, like, I think I literally will have to run away. Although, with all these power pluses and... I can't, I can't even survive two attacks from him, so... Alright. I knew it! Oh, but he has way less HP. Okay. In that case... Alright, actually, this is qu actually quite doable. I know I keep making fun of Paracarry, but he's powerful. Yeah, that's, that's a nasty amount of damage. Okay, thankfully they nerfed his HP, and with all my power pluses... Alright, sweet! He only gave two star points. What a ripoff. Well, thank goodness we made it for that unscathed. Congratulations! That was your first time clearing that trial. I'm so proud of you, really. After taking my cut, you earned 35 coins from that trial. Looks like you beat all trials from chapters 1 to 4. I think you deserve a bonus prize for that. We get the Happy Heart Badge! Oh, or is there an additional Happy Heart Badge in this game? As for your prize, I hope you like this. You've certainly earned it. A shooting star! That's so nice! Oh, wait. We gotta go back to Koopa Village. Koopa Koot's hungry and he's waiting on his pasta! <laughs> Mario, I can't believe you're being so slow. I told you to do it fast! I know you had spaghetti in your storeroom. Why did you take a big detour there, man? We also need more Chuck Quizmo. Speaking of Chuck Quizmo... Mario, my spaghetti! Come <laughs> Let's go to the question. Question. What is your prize for getting three stars on the slot machine? Okay, I think it might be ten mushrooms. Okay, apparently. Congratulations, here is your star piece. That's not even that great of a reward. Star piece. And for any questions, but we're not done yet. Let's try the next quiz. Question. What part of Toad Town doesn't have a toad with a purple hat? A what? Uh... Castle District, right? Correct! Yeah, it's just must tea over there. You've answered 31 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's go to the next question. Question. What is the name of the bob who loves Bombette? It's Bruce. Correct! Here's your star piece. <laughs> You've correctly answered 32 questions so far, but we're not done yet. Let's try the next one. Question. What color is the Toad who hangs out prizes? He's pink. You watched The Purge on 4K last night. Interesting. Never saw that movie. I'm not a fan of the horror movies, but I've, I've heard it's decent. If you're into that kind of thing. Alright, let's try the next one. Question. Which of these meals will restore the most health? That would be a potato salad. Correct! You're a nerd for knowing that! Well, I wouldn't play this game if I wasn't. <laughs> oh, that's literally all of the quizzes we can do until we beat Chapter 5. Sweet! How many star pieces do we have now? Probably a lot. 26! Sweet, we can get the second Flower Saver badge. Here's your pasta, buddy. Plummeting Paragoombas, you're a man of action, Mario, even though it took you ages to do it. This looks simply delicious. I swear nobody should cook this dish besides Taste Tea. She's perfected the recipe. Here's a little token of my gratitude. You don't have to be polite. Take it. 
Oh, it's nice weather we're having. Well, I actually don't have anything I want you to do. Sweet. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Do 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 do. I need a nap, Toad. Let me take a nap. <laughs> you heard horror and your interest got peaked. Yeah, Mike Breezy was talking about he was watching The Purge. Which is a horror movie as far as I can tell. Honestly, I'm not a fan of horror. Like, I see the appeal. I get people. some people like being scared. I don't really. Only horror-related things I actually kind of like are uh, Doki Doki Literature Club and uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't particularly like playing Five Nights at Freddy's, but I like watching people play it. <laughs> that way I can brace myself for the jump scares. One other thing I think we're going to try. Let's try the playroom. I've only played it like once in my life. And I'm interested to see if uh, it's any different in pro mode. Probably isn't. Hello there, Mario! Welcome to the playroom! To play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you can play depends on the kind of member credit you have. Cool, you have a gold credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead you down to the both the jump attack and smash attack fours. Choo, choo, choo. Greetings, my good man! This is the floor for jump attack! Give me a second and I'll explain the rules for you! Eleven blocks will appear in the air. When you hit one, a panel will come out of it. There are four kinds of panels. The number of coins you get depends on the order you hit the panels in. This is a one coin panel, gives you one coin. Five coins give you five coins. This is times five, your coins will be multiplied five times. This is the Bowser panel, when you find it, it's game over. Yep. Okay. Jump! Attack! I'm guessing Bowser's right there. Nope! Darn it. Oops! Bummer! Game over! Alright. Yep, that's what I remember. Again, you're just gambling coins in, on a game of luck. That's why I'm not a huge fan of it. But we're going to try it again. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this game. It's the floor for Smash Attack. Let me explain the rules. Game starts, blocks will appear on the wall on the ground. When you hit a block, something will come out of it. You'll clear the game if you get ten of these peach panels before time runs out. If you hit a block where a fuzzy or a bottom is hiding, it'll slow you down a bit. Time limit is 30 seconds. Smash Attack! Oh my gosh, they were using this music. I, I didn't even realize they did that. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes! Game over! I found the ball. Game cleared! I only get eight coins for that. Wow! Yeah, I remember the playroom kind of being a ripoff. I'd much rather just use money, money, payoff if I want to get money. Oh, I should also start my little oink, oink farm. <laughs> I love little oinks. Love them. You. You want to learn about them? I already know about them. Oh, okay. It, well, if you want to hear about the different types of little oinks, just ask. <laughs> On pro mode, you only get the like black little oinks that give you dried shrooms. Egg comes out, you smash the egg with your hammer, and a pig comes out, apparently. Don't question it. Well, this is the only way of consistently getting Ultra Shrooms, Jam and Jellies, and Repel Gels, so... It can be worth doing. Alright, then we got the Mushroom one, and then the Thunder Rage one. Yeah, it's a good thing I grinded up before doing this, because already we're... <laughs> oh, man. Already we're uh, kind of... <laughs> spending a lot of time doing side quest stuff. Man. No good little winks yet. Ooh, 
that's a cool one. I think that gives a shooting star? I can't remember. I know black gives you a uh, dried shroom. The shroom one, I think, gives you a mushroom, or maybe the regular one gives you a mushroom. The tiger stripe one gives you a thunder age. The mystery one gives you repel gel. Silver gives you jam and jelly. Gold gives you altar shroom. Hmm. I generally don't use little oinks all that much, but I figure, hey, why not? There we go. That's one that'll give repel gel. Sweet. Alright, I'm not gonna spend any more of my hard earned money, but. We'll keep them there. Oh, also, before I forget... How many letters do I have to f deliver? I think just the one to fish mail. Hey, dude. There's no use trying to fish without no caterpillar. Duh, what a fix I be in. Well, there's nothing for it but to find me different bait. Uh, address to a person fishing at the port. Ah, this must be you. My name's Paracary, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on. Oh my gosh, wait, that is a fish. That's like an actual fish fishing. I thought it was just a guy with big lips, but no, I'm pretty sure that's a real fish. <sighs> Never letter duly delivered. Hmm? What's this then? Shaver McDimmer's word from Coover. Must tease says he wrote a letter too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Yar, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? M, why the Koopa Trooper asked you to deliver the letter? Coover's the name. Koopa Dooba Scoopa. This Dane letter side quest. But Jonah did not go to Nineveh. <laughs> Instead, he went to Tarshish. <laughs> Well, he went to Tarshish because there's some really good badges this way that we can get now. <laughs> I'll probably end up getting, like, the Super Flower Saver badge. Another thing I need to do over here. Get that last stand badge that Peach gave for me. Hey, Merlo. Hey, I'm the famous Merlo. Alright. Chill out is not great. Pretty lucky could be alright. Heart finder, flower finder, meh. Happy heart, happy fire, meh, meh. Meh, meh. That could be alright. That could be alright. Yeah, we're getting flower fanatic. Going to change flower fanatic. You need 6 BP for that one. But it could be cool. Alright. None of the rest of the badges he has particularly interest me. Next one I'd get would probably be like pretty lucky. I'm starting to see the appeal of doing, like, the hard mode challenge where you don't level up at all, but you can equip just all badges with no BP. I feel like that would actually be really fun to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that in the future. Not, like, right after beating this, but... Alright, let's just deliver Coover's letter. I promise we'll go to World... F what, to Chapter 5 soon. I'm going to see how far I can advance this letter side quest, though. I forget exactly what order it's in. I know eventually it'll there will be a letter addressed to a Yoshi that we literally can't do anything with. Hey, Coover. How are things going? Oh, speaking of swimmingly, Coover... Fish, the fish mail fish, send this to you. Oh, thanks! Cool, it's from my pal! This must be the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole game. It'll be all great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, take it to Mr. E who lives in the desert. He's the blue turban dude. Golden oldies, hot hits. Information station in other news. We're playing a big training event. Okay, that's not until after World 5. All right. Welcome back, Sonic. You didn't miss much. We've just been doing side quest stuff. I'm delivering a couple letters, and then we're going to go to Chapter 5. My personal favorite world in the game. All right, Mr. E should be in here. There he is. Hey, guess what? In the desert, there's a secret. Nope, that's a different Mr. E. 
He said that there was the guy in the blue turban. He's the guy in the blue turban. Oh, you meant this guy in the blue turban. I love this town. It's the desert. You're Mr. E, right? Not to be confused with Mr. Ed. Another letter delivered. Gee, thanks! Oh, it looks like an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Here, hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter next time you're in Toad Town? It's to Miss T. She lives there. She's one of the three amazingly beautiful sisters. Normally chatting with her sister in front of the dojo. That's right. <laughs> Miss T. Miss T. I love it. Alright. Can we please <laughs> finish the letters pretty soon? This letter, this letter side quest just goes on and on, but you get a really nice badge at the end of it, so. And at this point, hey, I'm already... <laughs> I'm already gunning for 100%. Might as well keep going. Alright, which one of these is Miss T? I always forget. Not that one. I think it's the orange one. Yep, you're Miss T. Here you go. It's a letter from our friends. Another letter duly delivered. Who's this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh, well, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. Uh, that's kind of weird. But enough about me. I'm so lucky you just came now, Mr. Postman. Would you do me a letter? Deliver us the shop or I was just at Dry Dry Outpost. You're doing this on purpose, game. No, you know what? Forget it. I'm not doing this anymore. We gotta go to Lava Lava Island. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we can always come back to Lava Lava Island and deliver the letter later. We're, we're going now. Oh, let's get our badge set up, set up first, because we're about to fight a mini-boss, and uh, he often hangs out in a spot where you can't really hit him, so... Oh, that's right! I forgot! I upgraded my BP. Yeah, definitely want Hammer Fro for this. Ooh, Flower Fanatic is actually not... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, man. Actually, no, we can't do that. I have a thing feeling fine is going to be a good one to have for this upcoming world. Hey, Mobius, how's it going? Ice-T, better known for his role in Law and Order Special Victims Unit. It's not hammer time, it's hammer fro. It's also the like the one boss in the game you can't tattle on. Oh hey bro! Hmm, who am I, you say? Why my dear chap, I am none other than Colorado, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the, in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Hmm, think now, Colorado. How to cross the sea? Ouch! Ouch! What are you doing? Hammer time would be a great badge. I don't know why they didn't put it in the game. Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seemed to be a, a huge tuna. Ugh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. And I have problems. It feels like somebody's jumping around in my belly. Oh, 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 help me! Hmm, I say, oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Ugh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. <laughs> you imagine Pootie doing Colorado's voice? Yeah, I see that. They're both British. Blech. Blech! Who that? What do you think you're doing with that light? Get back here, Fuzzipede. Alright, mini boss time, Woody. Yeah, you need to have Watt on your party, otherwise you can't attack him because he's in the dark. Hey, fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ordering his old get out. Prepare for some pain. 
So I have no idea how much HP Fuzzit Beat's gonna have. But I've got uh, free power pluses, essentially. Ouch. This is different. He can heal now. Pfft, you're gonna need to heal a little more than 4 HP if you want to survive, though, bucko. Oh, wow, he's already dead. We didn't even need Hammer for a wow. <laughs> yeah. Shucks! First I think I can get away from that old fishing man. And by that, he doesn't mean a man who's fishing, he means a man who is a fish. Then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just about had fallen out of frying pans and into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me! You know the whale? Can you hear me? That stomachache seems to have cleared right up! I feel fantastic! Uh-oh. Whoosh! Hey, you boy! You're that dumb old fish that ate me all up and such! You plum idiot! You know, I thought I was a goner for sure! I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time, but you just watch it. Uh, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. You take care now. I, I just beat the crap out of you, but okay. <laughs> Watt's attacks look more powerful than they are. Watt is really good, though, because Watt doesn't do as much damage as some of the other party members, but she pierces defense, which is invaluable for some situations. Whew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, I am, I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say... Anywhere. <laughs> Guess we're on our way to Wiggle Bay, then. <laughs> Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be. The island will be wonderful. You must trust my instincts. Mario, um, I think the star kid said a star spirit was, um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, um, we should, we should go. Big Whale, give us a ride. Wee! Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then, it's your call. You just let me know when you're ready to go. I was born ready. <laughs> the fuzzipede voice reminds me of the crazy taxi man. <laughs> hey, hey, come on over, have some fun with crazy taxi. Fantastic game. One, one, of, my, one of my favorite just pick up and play games, honestly. Oh, um, sure this is safe, then. Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calming. I can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. Do you ever think how strange life can be? I do. Chapter 5, Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. <laughs> favorite world, favorite chapter, favorite boss. Welcome to Lava Lava Island. It's the nice tropical island. Although, these, some of the enemies are very annoying, admittedly. If you want me to take you back to Toe Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! Gracious! Behold, Mario! There, off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! So how many items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, only six. Sweet. Great. We can get a stopwatch. We can get a coconut. These little heart plants. I love just all the crazy plants on um, Lava Lava Island. It's great. Yeah! Help, I say! Help! <laughs> Better get out our tattle me party member. <laughs> well, I think I think he can handle himself. It's a letter to Igor in Boo's shop. Oh, 
Now, Mario, you're supposed to attack the other guy, old bean. Do you have issues with me? A bit of jealousy, perhaps? I wanted to talk to him, but I don't think we can. You, you can handle yourself, buddy. Yeah! Get off! Ah! Dear me, I barely got away. That was rather rude, Mario, leaving me like that. Humph. <laughs> well, we can't all be heroes. Let's press on, hmm? <laughs> He's taking that surprisingly well. And this is one of the reasons why this world is one my favorite, Yoshi Village. Hi, hello, howdy! This is Yoshi's Village! Mount Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there is no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader said it's not best not to get too close, because it looks like it might erupt every day, any day. Well, that's a bit of a problem. You guys thought about moving the village. <laughs> the village leader is my friend. I mean, hello, how are you? <laughs> but anyway, ever since he was a child, the village leader has had a very strong sense of personal responsibility. When I heard he was going to be the village leader, I wasn't surprised at all. Welcome to you, Mario. I'm the village leader of Yoshi's Village. Ah, you come seeking help. You wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm, the entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano has awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. I love how the village leader is, like, slightly fatter than all the other Yoshis. Yoshi, Yoshi! Oh, and the, the, has the baby Yoshis here, too, which are, who are just adorable. Ka! Ka? Are you the Mario the Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Oracle of the Stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario is fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Ka! Ka ka ka! I love me some ravens. How are you, Mario? Hey, have you talked with the Cheap Cheap over there yet? She's famous around here for being a great babysitter. Her name is Sushi. Unfortunate name for a fish. She watches over the kids. What would we do without her? Sometimes the kids complain about her, but kids are kids. By the way, an archaeologist named Colorado or something just went into the jungle alone. He said he was making for Mount Lava Lava, but the path ends halfway there. I wonder how far he got. Well, there's a store here. Oh! You can buy melons here and hustle drinks? Oh, okay, so I don't have to hoard my hustle drinks necessarily. That's great. You walk at the Yoshi's Cabana. We can store one more item. One toy. Store the coconut. Alright, let's claim some of the stuff we won't be or we we're okay to use. Oh, I'll claim my dried fruit. Because I can I can just sell that. Man, I got a lot of snowman dolls that I've, I've saved. <laughs> Potato salad. Hot shroom. Alright. We're saving our uh, shooting star, and we're saving our thunder rage. That's for sure. Alright. Now we're gonna sell that dry... Oh, man. You only... No. 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 We're not selling the dried fruit to you. There's the shop in Toad Town will buy, like, that for 20 coins. Hey, kids. We're in a fearsome five of Yoshi's Village. Yeah! We play hide-and-seek together. We can't leave the village, though, so it's sort of boring. I want to play somewhere bigger and more exciting. And I want to see the jungle! It's dangerous, you know? Now, that'd be exciting. That... Sure, but at what cost? We're the Fearsome Five! When we arrive, it's live at five! We always stick together, even when we're being bad. Speaking of which, today's the day we put our secret plan into action. It's so cool! Only we five know the plan, and that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited! I hope we can find lots of tasty fruit in the jungle. Maybe that's not a good idea to go into the jungle. Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days! I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full! I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool Sushi, they'd better think again. 
I have no idea what voice to give Sushi. She's supposed to make a middle-aged or somewhat old cheap cheap. But I always pictured her to have kind of an obnoxious voice. Like, ah, hey, I'm Sushi! <laughs> yeah! Yeek! Help! Help! Oh, get a hold of yourself! What do you say you attack the enemies instead of me, hmm? Yeah, off me, you brute! Ah! That was frightful! Have you no manners, Mario? Going on without me, you bore! Well, not everyone is noble. It would seem that our goal, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on, hmm? There's a nice jam and jelly hidden behind there, our first one. Ah, Mario! Have a look at this! Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for! I know it! The secrets of an ancient civilization! And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, eh? But I shall not give up! A good explorer never stops gathering information! Let's go back to the village for, to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Okie dokie. D G -ah! S stop! Stop it! <laughs> Did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? <laughs> Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on, hmm? Oh, Colorado, I do love you. Hey, Prince Tusk, how's it going? And now we get the really good Yoshi music. Oh no, they're all crying! The kids are gone! The only place they could have gone is the jungle! I had a feeling they were up to something lately, but I thought it was just mischief! I didn't think they'd go to such a dangerous area! What do we do? How will we find them? That is a completely different voice than I gave him earlier, but... Sorry, I had to give him the panic voice. <laughs> <laughs> Never fear, I, the masked defender, will save them. I swear, all these natives are so panicky that we can't get any information. I guess someone had better solve the problem so we can quiz them, eh, old boy? <laughs> it's not It's not always about you, Colorado. And here we get introduced to some of the enemies. Oh boy. Hurt plants. It's a hurt plant. Hurt plants pretend to be heart plants, which give you a heart when you touch them. But if the hurt plant bites you, you'll be poisoned. So how much HP do they have? Eight. Okay. Uh, can I jump on their heads? I forget. Nope. Not without spike shield. Good thing I equipped feeling fine. Oh man, the jungle fuzzies are nasty in this. Oh, I don't even have Quake Hammer. Oh, I'm a dummy. Well, I just want to use a POW block, I guess. Alright, jungle fuzzy. Alright, I gotta get this action command die. Darn it! That is not easy. Well, this is going real bad real fast, isn't it? Alright, I cannot one-shot that guy with Paracarry, but I can one-shot this Hurt Plant with Paracarry. Man, Shell Shot is... Doggone it. Actually, wait. This is fine. I can work with this. Okay, in peril. Thankfully, we can kill him with one hit, and now we have to immediately go and take a nap. <laughs> wow! <laughs> we also gotta reorient some of our badges.
I could I could avoid taking a nap and equip Mega Rush instead. Actually, I think I might do that. As long as I can avoid being uh, struck first, I think I'll just be able to obliterate any every enemy with Quake Hammer. Yes. I guess this is where chill out could actually be nice. I forget if I save. If not, I'll save right now. All right, this is very risky going into the jungle with one HP, but uh, <laughs> I kind of got. I gotta try. Because with Quake Hammer, I'll be able to literally just destroy everyone. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates! Hey, you! Down there! Look up if you can hear me! This is so embarrassing! I'm stuck in this tree! Can you help me out somehow? This is not the right voice for sushi, but I got very few other options. Come on now! Try harder! <laughs> Do it! You're heading to a hot place like Yoshi Island in Texas. It's pretty hot here, even in Michigan. It's in the 80s. And I know that's not hot in the grand scheme of things like compared to Michigan, or, but compared to Texas, but I mean, it's hot for Michigan, and I really love that weather. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, oh, those little... I was chasing those naughty little Yoshi boys, and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle with one HP? <laughs> Uh, yeah, what idiots! <laughs> I have to find it before they go in too deep! As for you, you better get back to the village too, you're also at 1 HP. <laughs> Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? Where did I have the Mega Rush badge? Well, so, you're looking for those little rascals as well. Then, I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite! I haven't even asked your name! What is it, pray tell? Mario, huh? Hmm, well, I've never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lovely Lava Lava Island! That's what I'd usually say to a visitor anyway. But first, could you help me find these boys? Sushi, join your party! Press down C on platforms at the water's edge to ride her across the water. If you press down C again while riding her, she'll dive deep for a short time. While in battle, she can jump, attack with belly flop, or douse enemies with her squirt ability. I really like Sushi's utility in the overworld, but I feel like after World 5, she's just not good in battle at all. She's only good against, like, fire-based enemies, which there will be plenty of in the volcano. Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. This island's so nice, isn't it? It's the perfect place for napping. Perfect temperature. I'm a babolb. My job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? I wanted you to take this seed. Or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry, though, it'll be ready any time now. Waiting in such a warm, comfy place can't be all bad, right? Come grab the seed later. I'm pretty generous, so I'll be here giving stuff to people. Alright, just don't, don't, don't give it away to anybody else, alright? Do you have a better way of writing sushi than that? <laughs> It's a letter to Rust T. I don't know why a letter f winded up in the tree, but... Oh, yeah, that's right. Paracarry dropped them all over the place. Alright, I think one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back and save frequently. Just so I can avoid having to redo stuff. And the, and the very likely outcome that I do die. All it takes is one enemy getting the jump on me and then I, I die, but... <laughs> Weird face. The Bubbulbs have big noses. So what? Oh, yes, yes, we want that. We want that badge in there. Wow! Let's tattle on... Ambush has 8 HP. Let's tattle on the Spear Guy. Spear Guy! Alright, now... I do believe this will just insta-kill everything. <laughs> 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 
By the way, just so people know, that attack I just did normally only does two damage. And it just dealt nine. Because of the badges I've equipped. And speaking of badges, Power Quake! Better version of the Quake Hammer. But we don't even need to equip that because right now we're we're quite more than enough. We're more than powerful enough. I love the music in this world as well. Oh, upgrade block. We can upgrade sushi. <laughs> oh no, I hear Yoshi crying. That's not good. Oh no! I got, when did I get more HP? Oh no, this is terrible. Okay. We actually got more HP, so different strategy will be needed. No to Quake Hammer, and no to Mega Rush. Instead, we will equip Power Quake! Which should make up the difference. And why is there a spike top here? Doesn't matter. This is an ambush. Ambushes pretend to be bushes and wait for unwary prey. Their bites are sometimes poisonous, so be careful. And this is where Power Quake will come in handy. Oh no, that doesn't kill them! Oh my gosh, I actually survived. Okay! Well, I thought Power Quake would be enough to uh, kill them. It was not. Thank you, Cooper. Alright, 5 HP that still puts me in the danger zone. Yeah, That was so scary! We were playing hide-and-seek and there was this weird play and it trapped me here! Sushi was right! We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide-and-seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. Yes, just, just stay out of trouble in the future there, buddy. Okay, so we're out of danger now and our power quake can't quite one-hit kill everything. So, to help with that, we're going to make some changes around here. I don't think we need feeling fine, if we can just OKO -OK everything. We're going to equip Power Rush, though. We're also going to equip Last Stand. That'll give me really good defense, as long as my HP is at 5 or less, and then it'll also give me plus 2 attack power. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, Medi guy. Why are you here? And why are there spike tops here as well? They're not supposed to appear until the volcano. Oh, also, I might be needing some more FP soon. Now that I actually have attacks that can, um, deal a lot of damage. Or rather, attacks that consume a lot of FP, is what I should say. Also, Medi guys in this world is not fun. I'm going to avoid picking up those hearts. I like being in danger. With this, you can upgrade a party member. Well, there's only one we can upgrade. It's Sushi. Now she can use Water Block, which actually, that could be useful. It might actually, that actually might be buffed to plus two defense in this, as opposed to plus one. I am still playing with fire, because, okay. You think you can jump up and get that coin, and you can't, but then it'll start squeezing the life out of you. Actually, hang on. That just took away two of my HP. <laughs> Mega Rush, here we come. Also, 
Darn it. With Mega Rush, we don't need Power Quake anymore. We can just go back to regular old Quake. I'm also going to equip Last Stand. Actually, no. Keep Last Stand. I'll equip Close Call just in case the enemies get the jump on me. Actually, no. We'll go there later. That area is pretty dangerous. So I kind of want to hit a save block before I go over there. Give me that star piece. I like the search for the Yoshis. It's a really cool part of the world, and the jungle's fun to explore. And it's the, it's the right level of challenge. Don't cry, little buddy. <laughs> we were playing hide-and-seek. I had to be it, but I couldn't find anyone at all. I was wandering around, and then I got lost. You were right, Sushi. The jungle's really scary. Thanks for coming all the way out here to look for me. I'll be a good boy from now on and listen to you. Mario, will you be it for hide-and-seek instead of me? I'm going home now. Yikes! Hey, Fuzzy. Oh my gosh, 11 damage with one hammer attack! <laughs> yeah! I've got, I've got a... <laughs> plus 7 attack power from the badges I have equipped. Unfortunately, Mega Rush and Power Rush do not stack. Not in this. I think they stack in Thousand Year Door, but not in the N64 one. I love how regular Quake Hammer deals that much damage with the right patch setup. <laughs> this is why BP is the best. <laughs> just like, just for another, this is why BP is the best. Alright, I'm just waiting for there to be special enemies in this pipe, though. That were Because normally there are no enemies down here, but I am just waiting for there to be enemies hiding in here. There was this flower that spun around, and I thought it was so cool, so I got on it. And then I spun around and around and around, and I was up in the air and flying, and then I ended up here! I didn't know how I got here. It was so dark and scary, and I couldn't find a way out. Thanks for coming to get me out of here. I can see how to get out now, so I'm going straight home. So I forget. Can you actually blow up this rock? No. I thought there was something hidden down here. If this was Fowler in your door, there would definitely be a star piece hidden behind that. Maybe not, actually. Alright. Cool. I do believe it's time for us to head back to the village and get a save point. <laughs> Because if we have a game over, I really don't want to find all these other Yoshis again. Oh, although first, before we do that, actually. Thank you, Close Call. Oh my gosh, yeah, Medi Guy stands no chance. Although it is annoying that they're giving me aerial enemies to face. No, no, not that. I do not want that heart, as a matter of fact. Keep me in peril. Oh, 
I love how the log goes from a whole log to a half a log. Alright, yeah, if we do this first, we can open up a shortcut. Uh-oh. Yeah, it woke me up! Oh, oh, ugh, morning. Hey, it's Mario! What's the matter with you? You were looking for me? Oh, sushi too! We were playing hide-and-seek, and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. I'm starting to get a little bit lonely, though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now. I how all the other Yoshi kids are like, Jungle's scary! I'm so sorry, you like sushi that I didn't obey you! And then this guy's just like, What's the big deal, man? It's just a nice, warm, comfy place. I also love how, like, all of the Yoshis are like, Well, I got my kid back, and this guy's like, I don't have mine back! And the village elder's still like, Yeah, this is still a problem. <laughs> I wish I could take a nap, but not refill my HP. Do I have... Oh, oh well, I... Okay. Well, let's store the jelly, but get something that'll refill FP. Welcome to Yoshi's Cabana. Alright, what's something that just refills a little FP? Maybe the Electro Pop? I could get Maple Syrup, but I should probably save that. Wow, the f I have two things of Maple Syrup. I'll, I'll just take one of those. Yeah, definitely store my jelly. I'm gonna chug Maple Syrup straight. I'm not weird. You guys are weird. <laughs> and we're going to preemptively equip Power Quake, because I think we're going to need it when we go up against these Piranha Plants. Actually, I don't think my power is quite boosted up enough to be able to one-shot them with Power Quake. Because we're going to have to fight some putrid piranhas up ahead, and they have 12 HP apiece. Which is more than I can damage. I can only I think I only damage 11. Which is a, a shame. Well, we're about to find out. This is just 11, right? Darn it! That's actually really annoying. Oh, if that's the case, I know exactly what I'm gonna do for that fight. Alright. <laughs> Re-equipping just regular Quake Hammer. I just had to check. I was pretty sure it was just 11, but... I wanted to make sure I wasn't just seeing things. All right, no, I I know exactly how this battle is gonna go then. Yeah! Somebody help me! I'm so scared. I want to go home. You get your dirty mouths off of that baby Yoshi. Bzap! Oh. Okay, we're taking out Bzap first. I am not dealing with the bee that can deal that much damage. Okay, well that actually puts a big damper on my original plans. We're gonna out of sight, Mario. Okay, I was not expecting the Bazap to show up. Because he was an aerial enemy. Okay, well. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Stop, watch! I hope this works on both of them. 
Yes! Oh, that's perfect. That is exactly the amount I needed. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Alright, Putrid Piranha. Their, their breath is worse than their bite. All right. Put those future piranhas are going to be tough, even with my insane power setup. <laughs> are they all gone? I thought those feeds were going to eat me right up. Thanks for saving me, Mario. I'll do what the grown-ups tell me to do from now on. I don't even want to do bad things anymore. I just want to be a good boy. I'm going home now. Bye. We saved all the kids! And we did it all with 1 HP. Man, I'm kind of digging the 1 HP setup, honestly. Like, I don't even, even want to take the nap. The only annoying thing is if I don't take the nap. Actually, wait. <laughs> Technically, if I take the nap, I can just go to that one heart squeezy flower thing and keep jumping into it over and over again until it uh, lowers my HP enough. Mario, old man, the village leader was just looking for you. I'd say he wants to thank you. Better hurry, hmm? He might just tell you where the treasure is if he's feeling thankful enough. <laughs> That's what it's really all about, right? Treasure. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. At least I could do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please come this way. Huh? I thought it was... somewhere around here. Oh yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. We get the Jade Raven, a jade statue of a raven that the Yoshi village leader gave you. Whenever events beyond our control occur in this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place the Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been able to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just one minute! You must have one heck of a story behind you, Mario! Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano! If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown! If you- but you don't care. You guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this! Uh-huh. Oh, oh! You're going to the volcano because you want to save the princess from some bad guys? What? What a touching story! Romantic stories like that, they just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That doesn't! I can't let you go alone! I, Sushi, will be by your side until the end! You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through the jungle, you'll need me anyway. Come, Mario! That volcano isn't getting any cooler! Thanks, Sushi. What a gal. She's got spunk. And now that the Yoshi kids minus Blue, Dark Blue Yoshi kid have had a change of heart being like, I don't ever want to go to the jungle again, which we should be okay. Alright, I'm going to take a nap. The total slogan is refresh your body and soul. <laughs> Comfy bed. Yes, that brings our HP back to a high point. However... We kind of need that. We need the FP back, is what, mainly what we need. And I can always just go and... Actually, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to... Actually, no. I can preemptively lower my HP next time, if I want to even do that. Alright. That's a pretty good spot to save and quit. We're right around the hour and a half mark. And next time, we can actually probably finish up Chapter 5. We can finish Jade Jungle and then enter Mount Lava Lava, my favorite dungeon of the game. And I hope we can fight the boss. The boss is, like, not just my favorite boss in the game, one of my favorite bosses in video game history. He's just such a fantastic fight. All right. So, I will end the stream there. Thank you all for tuning in and joining me. This is a lot of fun. Vod will hopefully be up on t by tomorrow. 
Also, tomorrow, Thursday night, I'm planning a stream. Uh, my friend Fly Kunai and I, who are both Kingdom Hearts fans, are going to be... We're both going to be doing a level 1 run of Kingdom Hearts, where I made it up to Wonderland last time. That's exactly where he is. And we're gonna, kind of going to do an impromptu low-key race to see just who can beat it faster. It's not going to be super hardcore, but it'll be fun, and that's probably going to be around 6 or 7. I think we're going to start planning it for around 6, so... A little earlier than usual streams, but it should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys tune in for that. I know it's going to be a good time. And, okay. Have a good night, everybody. God bless, wherever you are. Hope you have a great rest of your week.